Hello guys, this is Dr. Joseph from Krishna Jinti School of Management. Uh, I wanted to prepare this video on Microsoft Excel to teach my students um, better. Um, my students can learn Excel through YouTube videos at any time. So I'll start with the basics so that our students can learn from the beginning. Uh, so what is see on the screen is the Excel workbook and uh, Excel we use uh, to store data in the form of rows and columns. It's a type of a spreadsheet where we store data in a structured form. Uh, in any organization uh, the data is stored in this format and uh, most of the times we use Microsoft Excel and that is why it's very important to learn and um, here I use uh, Office 2007, uh, Excel 2007. Um, so I'll start from the basics. This this screen where you have the I'm highlighting it is the workspace where we type something and store data. Um, as you can see, Excel has various number of rows. The horizontal lines are called as rows. The vertical bars are called as columns. The columns are named as alphabets like starting from A, B, C, D and then the rows are named and denoted with numbers starting from 1, 2, 3, 4. So the rows are named in numbers and columns are named in alphabets and the intersection of a row and a column for instance the intersection of this B column and the uh, fourth row which is this point is called as a cell and so you can see there are a number of cells on the screen and each cell has a name how a row is named in numbers and how a column is named with alphabets each and every cell also has a name and the name is like we uh, start with the column name and then we end with the row name so this particular cell has a name called as B4 this particular cell has a name called as D8 this particular cell has a name E3 this particular cell has B14 this cell has I10 so like this every cell in the Excel has a name and um, uh, here we have a couple of items over here we have home insert page layout formulas so all these are called as menu these are called as menu hence this particular area the strip is called as a menu bar where it has couple of menus and as we click each and every menu something changes in the next strip so this portion of the strip we call it as a ribbon so once you click on this menu button home and it's a ribbon which carries a couple of buttons over there which we can use it for a particular purpose so like this every menu has a couple of buttons which are grouped together so if you go to the home menu now if you take the this particular group this is called as a section it is called as a font section so it has various buttons and options with which we can change the type type of the font, the size of the font, the color of the font like that. So like this we have a couple of sections. We have a clipboard section, we have a font section, we have a alignment section, number section, style section. So like this every menu if you look at, every menu has a couple of sections. The sections are nothing but a group of buttons uh, which are specifically designed for a particular task that are grouped together as a section. So the ribbon has multiple sections and each section has a couple of buttons the next box here what you see is called as the name box as I click over here you can see the cell name is captured in this box and then this box the white long strip is called as the formula bar where we type all the formula and um, at the bottom you have the status bar where you, have, where you can see something written as ready it's a status bar and you have this scroll bars these are the horizontal scroll, scroll bar and this is the vertical scroll scroll bar which helps you to scroll down and uh, left and right so this is something very basic about excel see you in the next video keep learning excel in life with excel thank you